Hey there everybody, welcome back to Starting Out Solitary, Blind Rob here, I'm subbing in for Tara this week. This is week 246 and we're talking about Ascension. So yeah, normally I tend to sub in for uh, Corvus here on Starting Out Solitary, but I received a message from Tara the other day letting me know that uh, she was feeling under the weather and she wanted me to sub in for her, which, you know, as a sub host, I'm always glad to, you know, to help out, sub in for whoever needs it, whenever they need it. And I do apologize if my setup here is a little weird. I've been experimenting a little bit, trying to... You know, move things around a little bit so you can all see me a little bit better. He probably hear me a little bit, bit, a little bit better too. And um, I know it's not going to, not going to be straight because there's no way I'm going to be able to center things. But we'll see how it goes. So I will be completely upfront and honest with you, like I always am. I really don't have a lot of experience or knowledge about this subject, this topic that we're talking about this week, which is ascension. Do we believe in it? What are our thoughts on it? Um, it's not something that I think about. It's not something... That I won't necessarily say I don't believe in it because I think, at least throughout the years, the, the few times I have heard of it, I have heard of a few different theories about it, uh, what have you, or at least the ones that I have heard of. And so, yes. But <laughs> it's not something that's really prevalent are important in my own practice so I honestly don't know how well this video will turn out as far as me sharing my thoughts my opinions my perspective on things but we'll see how it goes but I just want to let you know that this is one of those topics that I have little to no uh, knowledge or experience with so um, take that as you will so in the past whenever I, I have heard about you know people talking within you know the various uh, different types of spiritual communities, be they, you know, pagan slash neo-pagan, be they, you know, the witchy community, which is kind of interesting because it's not, it, it is part of the pagan community, but, you know, it, it, it has the layers. Like, it, there's so many different, like, spiritual and, you know, spiritualities and religions that you can be a witch of and still practice the, those faiths. You don't have to be pagan. But um, but a lot of people who do you know who do practice some kind of witchcraft or something akin to witchcraft they a lot of a lot of people do t tend to identify as pagan. Um, but you also um, I've I've also heard uh, some people in the various forms of New Age spirituality, uh, the New Age uh, end of the spiritual spectrum tend to talk about ascension a bit. And the few times that I've, you know, talked to people and interacted with people about the subject, they explain it to me as the, the, the goal for one thing, but also the process of adjusting, transcending, transcending the boundaries of humanity, of one's physical limitations, of one's um, physical um, boundaries. And in inferiority, and you know, to reach a higher plane of existence, to, to reach a higher state. And a lot of the people that you know that I've heard this from, that I've talked to about this, they tend to be of the belief that you know, all people are of spirit, and that we're all here in the you know, in this life to pretty much to be incarnate, you know, be incarnated for some kind of journey. It's all about love now. Excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze there. I'm, if I do, I will go ahead and apologize if I do end up sneezing. Um, now, that's something that I don't believe in. I don't believe that we're all, you know, that we're all constantly reincarnated. I do believe that reincarnation is a thing, but I, I don't believe that we all... I, I, okay, I don't believe that there is just this one goal, this, this one thing that we're all as as a people as as a collective you know searching for or this process do i think it's possible to ascend maybe depends on exactly what you mean by ascension you know transcending one's boundaries transcending one you know one's limitation you know at, you know as being part of humanity well i guess it depends you know 
I do believe in an afterlife. I do believe in reincarnation. I believe some people go to their final places. I believe that some people get recycled. Their their souls or parts of their souls get recycled. Um, they don't always come back as humans. They don't. All, I don't believe. I believe that they don't always come back to this to this level of reality. This level of the cosmos. Maybe they'll end up as another being. My perspective of the universe of the multiverse or however you want to call it. Uh, the my view of the cosmos ha is very layered so i do believe it is possible to end up in another life as another kind of being sometimes higher sometimes lower on the spiritual ladder so to speak um as far as power as far as level of power as far as level of enlightenment as far as level of what have you but i don't believe that <laughs> There's just this simple one size fit all one answer for everything sort of like goal that we're tr that we as a collective are trying to reach, and that's the ascension. Um, I know a lot of people do believe that or something to that effect, and that that's fine. We all have our differing beliefs. The um, but it's not something that I personally believe in, and even if I did, it's not really something that is my goal. My goal when it comes to being you know my goal personally is to be a good person you know to have good relationships in my life both with uh the people in the here and now that are, that surrounds me as well as those otherworldly beings entities and folk that i have good relationships with um if it so happens that i pass on when i pass on if i get reincarnated if i end up in, you know as a as a kind of being on another plane of existence another plane of this cosmos that's a little bit higher a little bit gr more grandiose than what you know we experience here as humans well fair enough but that's not my goal my goal my personal goal spiritually speaking is in is always in search of wisdom it's always in search of inspiration but um within my limits um i know i know what my personal limitations are i know what my strength strengths are i know what my weaknesses are and i'm fine with that now, the other kind of ascension that I have heard of is through the more uh, folk forms of spirituality, cultural-based spirituality. You see this a lot with like um, in uh, Greek folklore, Greek mythology. There are other cultures that have something similar to it, but the one that I can just think of off the top of my head, and there's a word for it, and I cannot remember what it is, but there is this idea that through one's deeds, through one's relationship, uh, unique special relationships with deities one can become a deity themselves upon their death as a human you know being risen up into godhood um i believe that's possible excuse me is this something that still happens don't know personally i don't care it's none of my business if it, if it does still happen if there are certain people who end up becoming deities themselves whatever level of deity that might be when they uh, leave this life, pass on through the misty the misty veil, um, return with their ancestors, return with the mighty dead and the and the uh, the shining gods. Um, that's that's cool. That's awesome. You know, I wish the best for them. Um, but yeah, it's something I totally believe in. I mean, hey, I believe that deities are more than just non-corporeal beings. You know, I believe that uh, there are various clans and family lines that they claim descent from various otherworldly beings and deities, and I do believe that they are, that they do have that lineage um, to some extent, even if it is very, most likely very much watered down by the point of whoever it is that of those lines that are alive you know today but and you see that you see that kind of thing in several, several different cultures there are several different cultures that believe that uh certain people especially their leaders um royalty what have you um are either descended of or part of or an extension of some of their divine beings sometimes when they pass on, they end up becoming deified as new deities in of themselves. So yeah, I do believe that's a thing. So I guess, honestly, that's the closest that I personally believe to the uh, as far as like ascension is. Um, 
because I believe that deities or beings that are basically on the same level as deities are the closest beings in existence to, you know, the top of the food chain, if you will, apex beings, if you will. Um, and they are the closest living sentient creatures, living beings to the source of all that was, all that is, and all that shall be, all that will be. Um, and I do believe that there are, you know, there are different ways for people to, you know, ascend to that, you know, to to at least beyond our, um, you know, our level of of mortality, our level of humanity, become some kind of uh, otherworldly or divine being, you know, such as a minor god, a demigod, and that will depend, you know, it will depend on are they, you know, if the person's related to that to that deity, to a deity, or if they have some kind of relationship to that deity, such as being a, a god spouse or a mortal spouse of a particular deity, um, which is you, something that you do see in several different uh, folklores, uh, the different cultures, uh, the folklore of different cultures, the, the mythologies of different cultures. So yeah, that's basically where I stand on it, <laughs> um, more or less. I, I hope that helps. Sorry if it's a, just another, you know, sort of ramble fest for me, but uh, I was kind of, I, you know, I, I didn't think that would be, you know, uh, subbing in for Tara this week. <laughs> so this was kind of like a last minute thing. I, I was hoping that this was going to be one of those topics that I would be able to get to skip, not have to sub in for because it's, it's not really something that that I really think a lot about. Um, it's not something that's really important to me in my practice, but it is what it is. As always, it is great being able to talk with all of you like this. Please let me know down in the comment section below what you thought or what you felt about this video in the form of comments, question, or sorry, comments, concerns, or questions. Until next time when I'll be able to sub for someone else <laughs> for another video. May Bridge Bless.